Hey everyone, it's Jeremy here with uh, Us Plus 7 and we're having a debate with Joni. See, here's Joni. Say hi, Joni. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Jeremy here with Us Plus 7. Um, it's been a few days since I've been able to, uh, to record and we've had some help here at the at the homestead just getting a few things up and with some uh, some other workers here we just decided not to record but this morning i'm uh, i'm here and i just wanted to give you guys a an update of where we're at right now and kind of come along today uh, with what we're doing um we have uh we've uh, you guys have seen the video where we received our chickens uh, the chickens we've had now for uh for two weeks and uh, not one more week and they're going to be going out on uh, pasture and uh last weekend we we got our uh some of our cows uh just uh six we are looking for some more we're gonna pick up some more and and uh tomorrow uh, this afternoon or tomorrow probably tomorrow because uh i got quite a bit of work to do today but tomorrow we plan on uh getting our uh, pigs which there's 19 or 19 or 20 pigs so this morning uh we've got uh, I've got a couple of guys that are helping to build some gates uh, for us and uh, I've got fencing to get finished inside of the uh, pen that I've created for the pigs kind of a trainer pen where I've put page wire around the perimeter now I'm not I'm not uh, as satisfied with that uh, with that pen as what I am with the uh, the cow corral uh, which I can show you it's cow corral we had much bigger larger uh, stakes um, further in the ground able to pull and tension the wire better and this one here on the other side of the stream um, on the other side of the stream the poles we just used our regular fencing poles which are only six feet so by the time you drive them in you try to pull it pushed the corners pulled the corners so I'm not satisfied with that so I'm probably gonna end up taking that back apart um, some to kind of straighten them up I may use a different type of fence but anyway the reason I did that uh, that style of fence is so that I'm going to put uh, electric, like all the pigs will be on just electric wire, uh, but they're young and I want to get them trained on the uh, electric wire before I put them out just with electric wire. So I'm getting them trained with page wire and electric wire. So we've got some offset, got, had a friend pick up some uh, where we live close to the border in Maine. Uh, the only place I could find the extended uh, insulators is right here, I can show you that there. It's a five inch extension. So I, I just was able to find those uh, just yesterday or day before in uh, a tractor supply in Maine, in Holton. Uh, we don't have anything, uh, none of the stores, you know, the co-ops, the Suregain had any of that um, in stock. So uh, luckily we live close to the border and, and we have a friend that, uh, that travels back and forth there so we were able to get uh, the insulators we needed for that pen. So I'm going to put with the page wire on, put the in, the extended insulators on uh, that will push it out so that uh, when they touch that, then if they do try to go through it, well, they're, you know, they're going to run into the page wire. So they'll learn that electric fence real quick. Uh, we have had pigs before on electric fence, uh, but again, we had, um, uh, it wasn't page wire, but it was... Um, they were panels that were, you know, four feet high or 40 inches high. <clears throat> I think they were 16 feet long and they were like a welded wire mesh. So like a WWM um, with the, you know, a pattern in it. Um, but we never had them out just on wire. So we're kind of following that Joel Salatin um, polyface design. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about it before, but we're following that, uh, that book and his methods. Um, so we'll show you the we'll show you some of that. And we're also today we're going to show you the um, the cow corral, and we'll uh, show you the cows, um, which are they're right here. So we had them in the corral for a week, and they seemed to calm down quite a bit. And so we put figured we'd put them in on uh, on the pasture. So the this is a smaller section, which goes just down down here to the corner and we put a divider in here so that we're you know plan on doing the rotational grazing so we'll leave them in here for 
a day. That's probably a larger section than what uh, the six cows that we have right now need uh, for for a day. Uh, so they'll probably stay there for a couple of days, I would imagine. We'll watch how they're eating, and then we'll move them on to the next section. The next section I plan to, to go smaller. So this section of fencing that we have now, I'll just take you down and show you down to the road or how long this goes. Just to give you a better idea. We can see... Yeah, so the, the cows are are back there. The fence that um, the divider fence for that for that section is there. And then if we turn, we look, you can kind of see the road. Get my finger going here, right? Kind of see the road down down there. So it's it is a it's quite a long field. It's fairly uh, narrow. I guess it's probably five or six hundred feet wide I would imagine but anyway for six cows that will probably do us for quite a while um, to get them to the other side I haven't pastured any of the other side of this tree line here so we have this tree line and then on the other side we have pasture uh, areas again I haven't done any fencing there so I got some time I have some time to be able to uh, get all the other animals here before I start working at that and then uh, I'm gonna, we'll do another video on the uh, cow corral. But you can see here, we had, uh, you know, the gates we put on. We have another gate on the other side, which is down there. We have another gate over there, which uh, will allow the, the, the cow. So intention is that once they, once they go down this section here, all the way to the road they'll cross the driveway that we have they'll come back up that section there and then by the time they come back up that section they should be coming back into the paddock area um, for the winter basically um, we'll see how that goes uh, I don't have uh, much experience there and how much they're gonna eat and I guess with the six cows that will probably last them quite a while uh, but we're going to try to get a cut a little bit of hay off this as well so we'll see anyway i'll uh, i'll go through some detail on the uh, on the cow paddock and then once you continue over the driveway you can see the you can see the stakes that are over there on the other side that's uh that's where we're putting the pigs so that's where we're going to be working today and uh, i'll bring you along with uh, some of that fencing With the cost of fuel right now, you definitely want to make sure that you're uh, you're locking your tanks when you can. Fuel is extremely expensive right now. Diesel this morning was um, two dollars and I think it was two dollars and seventeen cents a liter. So I'll put up top um, what that is in uh, in U.S. dollars, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's really uh, it's really something how uh, diesel prices have been jacked over the last or oh, diesel and fuel gas um, has been jacked over the last few months. Um, you look at the economy and you look at the her natural resources in Canada and the U.S. and it's uh, hard to fathom why you know we're not producing some of our own. To uh, you know, bring it to Canadians and to the American people uh, at a much better price than what we're paying right now. Now we're up to the uh, out to the field where our house is going to be built, or where this is where the barn's going to set. But uh, you can see it's a foggy day; it's raining out some. We got uh, 
I figured I would come up. I have a bunch of stuff on the back of my truck that should be put away. A little bit of feed. I don't want to get wet and a few other things. So this building was here when we uh, when we bought it. They were planning on taking it taking it with them or taking it and moving it to another spot. But uh, anyway, it was probably too difficult to to move out the trail. So we uh, we ended up with it. So I'm just gonna put some of our stuff put some of our stuff away. All right. right here. We made it to the uh, other side as I had told you. It's just that it wasn't in the same day. Today's, uh, well, it's now a, just another day, I guess. And uh, it's really rainy and it's going to damp pour soon. Yeah, so it was raining yesterday. And like I already said, it's downpouring right now. Yeah. Joni's out here with her fly mask on. <laughs> well, what's the <laughs> point if you need a What's the point of raining? Uh, today's been a really busy day. We got the pig pasture or the paddock all ready for them to show up here later today. Yep. Which we'll, uh, we'll show some video on that as well. Um, still working on the perimeter fence. We've got at least one paddock ready so that they'll be able to come. And this week we'll do some more work. So <laughs> anyway, drove uh, one more a, post, a corner post before we go down. You can this take line. a shower in here. Yeah, you could take a shower in here. It's raining hard. But isn't only it? when it's damp pouring. Down pouring, yeah. Did you bring any soap? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're, uh, yeah, I just wanted to finish up this uh, video and say thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe and button and like and share, right, Aria? Yeah. Like. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, like Aria said. Awesome, high five. See you later. Thanks for watching.